The question is, the universe is 14 something, something billion years old. We've now seen stars, stars? What Galaxy. are, galaxies that are 13 billion years old, and somehow that might suggest that the, the universe is expanding and that there is more and more universe all the time. Well, first of all, the universe is expanding, and there is more and more observable universe all the time. Mm -hmm. The universe at its edge is expanding at one light year per year. That's how that works. And so <laughs> in a billion years, the edge is not going to be 14 billion light years away. It'll be 15 billion light years away. So we got that. Okay. So now, galaxies 13 billion light years away, we are seeing light emitted by that galaxy, and that light has been traveling for 13 billion years. Okay. Um, yes, that galaxy emitted its light when the universe was 10% its current age, and in fact was much smaller than it is today. Now you said the current paradigm is 14 billion year age of the universe. You said that with a little bit of, oh, you'll come up with something different later. Um, the proper way to say that is, that is the current measurements of the age of the universe. That's how that works, okay? Um, paradigm is, be, came into our lexicon um, in a big way in the 1970s with a book written by the uh, science philosopher uh, Thomas Kuhn. What's that? There's a dangerous woman in here. <laughs> <laughs> who is this Joe Barker of whom you speak so dangerously? Remember what happened to the guy who put the, didn't put the cream in the coffee? <laughs> So um, this book, The Structure of Scientific Revolutions, um, sort of introduced paradigm as a, as, a, as a way that scientists sort of gather around a paradigm and they all sort of accept it. Although then something different happens and better data comes along that we all gather around a different paradigm. Uh, that happened basically until the dawn of the age of modern science, which I date from Galileo and... Uh, and um, Bacon, uh, Francis Bacon, where when you experimentally measure something be to be true and it's verified, that is a truth that does not later turn out to be false. Period. It's not how science works. It's not like, oh, this is now, that's gonna be false, now let's all crowd around this. You would be left with that impression having read that book. But the book got that very wrong for the age of modern science. Before then, sure. Because people just thought stuff up and then and called themselves scientists and that was with philosophers and you turn out to be profoundly wrong when somebody else thought up something better and then everybody's wrong when we finally started taking data <laughs> it's all about the data okay so uh, everything you described is just perfectly fine yes it founds galaxies the next telescope the James Webb Space Telescope is tuned to live in that regime to find galaxies being born in the early universe. So there'll be a whole lot more data coming back from the early universe when that telescope gets launched, lands at its observing point, and gets turned on. So there's nothing you said that's odd or weird. That is the universe we live in. No, you don't get two. You don't get two. There's a lot of people. <laughs> no, he's, no he's, he's verifying that I let off with the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. Ah, yeah, it okay. just is.